Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up PokerStars using Debian. Now, I've done this previously for Linux Mint, and it was quite a popular video. And I, the reason I'm doing it for Debian today is somebody asked me in Debian, they said they can't get past the login screen. So I'm going to show you what I do to install PokerStars on Debian. It's slightly different to how you do it on Linux Mint, but let's get going. So I'm using the GNOME version of Debian. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open Firefox. Now this should work for all versions of Debian, it's not just uh, GNOME. There is going to be some terminal usage. I can't stop that I'm afraid. I think this is the only way to do it with Debian. So I've opened Firefox and I'm going to type in PokerStars. Now what I'm going to do is click on this download now button. So you can see it's pokerstars.co.uk for the UK. In the US I assume it's US and for other countries something different. But I'm going to click this download link here ignore this message that's just appeared, we're just going to minimize that. Now you should see this download now and start playing link, but sometimes it doesn't appear. So what you can do is you can go up here to the extensions and we can go for user agent switcher. And this is Firefox I'm using which because it's default with Debian and you just add that to Firefox and it's going to ask you for consent for stuff. We're going to say no. It doesn't make a difference. So when we come back here, if you need to, you can go to here, you can click on the user agent switcher and you choose edge and then you choose edge there. You click apply, you refresh the tab, click away. And if it wasn't there before, it should be now. But you can see that when I loaded up it was there so what we're going to do is click download now so the next thing we need to do is um, we're going to go to a file manager and we're going to go to the downloads folder we're going to right click and we're going to do open in terminal we're going to close that I'm going to see if I can zoom in like that and what we're going to do is sudo apt update I'm going to upgrade. So that's sudo apt upgrade. I'm going to try and leave all the instructions in the description. If I don't do that, let me know um, because sometimes I forget when I'm uploading the videos. So the first thing we're going to do is run sudo dpkg two hyphens add hyphen architecture space i386. Uh, PokerStars needs 32 bit wine. So we're going to do sudo apt update and clear that sudo apt install wine32 colon i386 So we're going to clear the screen again and now what we're going to do is type wine arch equals win32 and we're going to type wine prefix equal dot wine 32 and we're going to type wine cfg and that's going to load wine config in 32 bit mode and it's going to create a settings directory for wine 32 you see that's loading there don't worry about any messages you see on the screen and what we need to do is change that to windows 10 click apply okay We'll clear the screen again and we'll type ls wine arch equals win32 wine prefix equals 32 we're going to type wine and then we're going to type poker stars install uk xe and you can see the installer appears so I can now click here and click install and I can click the launch and now it's going to run the update and this could take a fair amount of time to do as you can see I'm now in uh, PokerStars I'm going to use play money and then I'm just going to play a game So 
So as you can see, I was able to play a game there. Now, when you want to play it again uh, in the future, you can close the terminal. And actually, I recommend doing this after you've logged in the first time because it's a bit slow the first time you run it. Click on Activities, go to your Applications, and you'll see the PokerStars UK there. And just click on the link. And we're back at the game. And we should now be able to play. And that is the end of the video. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope you learned how to play PokerStars. And I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.